I'm a, I think I'm a special one. All right, boys, welcome back to the channel. The special one. I think we're on like episode 10 now. We are halfway through the season, as you can see. 23 games, 41 points, five off the top of the league. Um, Sporting have now gone below us. It is very, very tight. We're talking eight points separating ninth all the way up to first. We're literally three points off ninth as well, so it is super, super tight. Today we are playing Unai Delilia, Jose Mourinho's. But would it have been second club after he got sacked from Benfica? He went there for about six months before then he got the Porto job. So um, we've got them at home, at home first and then we've got bottom of the league. Six points, set us up nicely. However, we've had a bit of a disaster. Duck has gone back. Now they whinged at the start of the season um, that we were playing him out of position. We were playing him a little bit out on the right right hand side and he was kind of playing second choice up front. But then we started playing him as advanced forward, sorry, pressing forward. He was doing very well. He was playing every week, scoring goals. He'd scored a total of, what, eight eight league goals for us. So things were going well. And then they just decided to take him back because we were playing him out of his unfavoured role. He was down to play Poacher. Uh, we offered him and we were playing him pressing forward. So they took him back, which was annoying. He's now transfer listed. I've tried to sign him. He doesn't want to play for us. He says... He can do better, basically. So that has been a huge loss. We have made a few little transfers. We've got a, a, poten a potential transfer coming in. We've let go of Raposa, who was a young defender. Uh, it was kind of fourth, fifth choice, centre-half. We've also let go of Batista as well. I believe, yeah, a player that we'd signed from Benfica a while ago. He's just never going to be never gonna be good enough. So we've got him off the wage budget. In comes... Eduel Sapara, uh, 14 pace, 11 crossing, dribbling, first touch. He was transfer listed for a team that is 21st in the division. Um, but he's got the technicals a little bit. He's got the physicals. We need more cover in these wide areas. Um, now Sagotta has got a bad injury as well. We've called up a couple of youngsters just to, just to freshen it up so we can make more changes during games. He's going to make his debut today. And then on the history front, do we have a little bit? We've got Bruno Almeida probably going out. Another player that played for us a lot last year. Um, no, he didn't. Tell a lie. He was our backup last year. Um, but he's not going to reach the quality, especially if we end up getting promoted. He's not going to be good enough to play second tier. Um, we've got a bid in for this guy. So he's plays for Fontinas. He's a non-contract player, so we've put a bid in for him. He's their regular stat. He scored 17 goals in 20 games, 14 in the league. He's six foot one. <clears throat> He's only 17 years old. Um, acceleration 16, pace 12, dribbling, finishing 11, first touch 13, work rate, teamwork. He looks like an handful. Um, he's come from their youth system. And um, we've put an offer in, and he seems really keen to join us. So hopefully he will be a massive signing for us as we progress into the second half of the season. And then we're going for Picayon. Now, he does look very familiar. There was a, a was it a West Ham and Portsmouth player called Picayon. I don't know if it's his son or not, but he does have a look of him. He hasn't played a professional game yet, but he's 20 years old, six foot. Looks like he could be a bit of a handful. So once again, we can kind of mix between Mendy, um, Jabari, Picion, and then hopefully, and then hopefully Ferrero as well. Um, it'll just kick us on for the second half of the season, right? Anyway, let's get a team sorted. We're down to bare bones. Um, we've played a couple of youngsters, so we gave Hugo Neves got a start. <laughs> Uh, the other day, didn't play very well in the 2-1 victory that we had in the last game. We're going to have to go with Mathola because Jabari got sent off in the last game. It was a bit of a smash and grab, so since the last episode, uh, it was more on Fontinas. We got smashed by Boa Vista, which you kind of expected. Obviously, they're a top-flight club. We then followed it up with an absolute stinker, an absolute stinker performance. We played well second half, um, 
but goals on eight and nine minutes kind of made it very difficult. And then Vitor, Vittorio de Gumarez, uh, 1-0, Jacob Maddox, English player, scoring the early goal of the game. That was a difficult one because they're, they're a decent side. And then we racked up wins against Oriental Dragon, uh, Real, Rio Avev, um, Lecker, who were top of the league. 2 0 down, we managed to get back to 2 2 away from home, which is good. We've just beaten Bere uh, Amar, who were just above us. Um, we lost lost against these 10 men. I believe they were quite low down. No, they were up to second. I'm talking rubbish. Uh, and then Lexos 2 1, who are down at the bottom. We were down to 10 men with 20 minutes to go. And we managed to get a late winner, Frederick Mendy. Has done very well for us. Back in the fold a little bit. He's now key for us. Eight goals, two games. Uh, sorry, two assists in 14 games. So he's, he's doing all right. I think if we can get the players in that we want to come in, we've now gone with two up because we couldn't get this quite right. Um, we've just moved Catano. As it, he was on defend. We've now just got it as a support. Just to trying to be a little bit more ambitious. Um, and yeah, we've. If we, I believe if we can get those players in that... Hopefully, around the way, it'll make a massive difference. We've also got Rodrigo Pereira, um, six foot two winger that we've brought in from the under 19s. 11 crossing, 14 dribbling, passing's not great, technique's not great. Decent enough physicals, pace, 5th, 14, uh, agility, acceleration, not bad. Just a bit of a backup, really. Once again, we're going to try and have our subs making a really decent impact for us. Sosa's going to have to go on the bench today. Pinto is in. Ducari Sene, Casemiro is in because Mano has struggled a little bit. He's 34. We need to sort of like, I think, offload him um, in the summer if we can. Right. Should we get a game going? I think we, I'm excited to see what Sapara can do. I'm a little bit worried about these two up here. Rodrigo Mathola, I don't know if he's going to have quite the golden touch to win us a game, but we will see. Right. Here we go. Come on, the boys. Positive performance. We want six points from today. <laughs> oh, that's a tremendous debut. Fucking tremendous debut. Right, okay. We're going to have to put the youngster on. Ricardo Pereira. He is left-footed, so he'll do well cutting off that left off that right-hand side. Fuck me. Oh, dear. <clears throat> right, looks like the first highlight of the game. Sene's brought it down. He's found Katana, who's found the youngster Pereira, who shot from distance and it's gone over the bar. He's confident. Maybe just doesn't have the quality to quite back it up. Oh, I can't believe he's Sapara's injured already. <laughs> right, we got corner. Pinto. Mendy's there underneath it. It's half cleared. Zakina. Penalty referee. Not given. Katano's picking it up. We'll go again. Ducare. It's been fantastic. We want to get a permanent deal in for Takari. I think it's going to be difficult, especially if we stay in this division. He may cost a pretty penny, but I think he's going to be worth it. As Ricardo Pereira is in. Mathola! That will be a penalty. Now, Mendy is stepping up. He missed the last one. Oh, he does it this time. He puts the keeper the wrong way. We are 1-0 up against Unai Deleria. Mendy's ninth goal of the season. Get in. We've made a decent start there. I'm happy. I'm happy. Right. Are they going to get straight back in? We do have a habit of conceding straight after the other team score. Right. They've clicked one in. Their defender's not decided to chase it. And Mendy is in. Can he make it 2-0? He has. He went on the near post. 2-0. 10th of the season. We're going to praise it, boys. Let's get a bit of praise in. Pinto just smashed it forward. Defenders are an absolute player. If that was the opposite way around, I would be going absolutely fucking mental. 2 0. We're up to second, but it's so tight. We can't really judge. We just need to make sure we stay in touching distance. I think it's so tight up there. A draw, or a defeat, a win, it all changes regularly. It's only been Lecker, the team that I top, that I've managed to sort of like keep the pace going. Right, Dakare is just struggling. He did pick up a knock, actually, in the last game. So we'll get him off. Let's get the youngster Ribera on. Okay, 20 minutes to go. I'm going to make a change. Have we got anyone who can play as a bit of a striker? We've got this guy, Maruka, who's not great. Oh, booker. But it's an option. 
and we're going to use him. Right, Pinto, the veteran. Is he going to swing one out for us? He's just standing. Just standing. <laughs> Are you going to take it, Pinto? He has taken it. Maruka's there. Oh, that was his first touch. He'd literally just come on and he's missed an absolute sitter. I actually thought that he was going to get a rebound as well. Oh, what a chance that would have been to finish off the game. We should be all right. I'm just going to pause it because Mendy is struggling. We're just going to bring... Oh, we're not going to be able to do it, are we? We've done our changes. We've done our changes, boys. Okay. Okay. A little bit worried now for the next game. I think the next game is sort of like only a matter of like three or four days. We may have them transfers in though. Oh, they've got one back, you fucking bastards. Oh, ten minutes to go, boys. Ten minutes to go. Focus. Come on, see it out. Let's just go defensive. Wind it down, wind it down. We should have had this game dead and buried. Oh no, highlight, last kick of the game by the looks of it. Don't do this to me, they've got a chance. Kaká, blocked. Pereira, the youngster, he's dug out a ball. No, Mendy can't go for it, he must be completely dead. Pereira again, the youngster. Just run with it, mate, run with it. He stood still. Philip Miller, Alfonso Catano. Pinto's getting forward on the overlap still. Cross blocked with 12, 13 seconds over the delay, over the stoppage time. Oh, that's all right. You can do that, bud. That should be the end of the game. Thank fuck for that. Right, we've picked up a win. 2.42 is XG's. With, there was a couple of big chances to really seal it. Morocco as well, the youngster, had the opportunity to be a bit of a hero. He's not quite up to standard though, right? Can we get these plays in? We are second as we've just moved into the second half of the season. I am kind of keeping my eye mostly on Sporting B. <laughs> so power is out for four weeks, five weeks maybe. Okay. Chance for Pereira to be fair to Pereira. Pe pe to be fair to Pereira, he did pretty well when he came on. Right, we're going to move on to the next game. Hopefully we have some signings. Bottom of the league. Come on, we want maximum points from today's episode. Someone else has put a bid in, Mafra, who are a league above us. So what we need to do is, we need to change his contract. We're going to give him double. And we're actually going to put his goal bonus up. I want this boy. We actually, by the way, sorry... We actually got asked to come for an interview. Uh, these, this team, asked to come. For, obviously, we said no. It's, it's a thing that we need to look at. We're not necessarily just going to jump from um, set a ball to one of the big three. In an ideal world, we would. But we've always got to take offers on the table seriously. But that that wasn't a, that wasn't an offer that we'd ever consider. Right, boys, we are back. Bottom of the league. We have managed to get one signing in. Picky on a sign. We're still waiting on the youngster, uh, Ferraro. So we're going picky on up front. And we're moving Mendy out onto the right-hand side. I was going to play Pereira, but I thought, no, well, let's just get picky on. We've got Shabari back as well. So we're looking a little bit more stronger already up there. Pump fist. I expect to win. Keep the run going. We have struggled against teams low down in the division. They're playing with a diamond, so it'll be interesting to see how we cope with that. Are we going to get a little bit more joy out wide? Pickyon is definitely going to be a handful up there with Jabari. Here we go. Quiet first 15, 16 minutes. We're on it. Can we muster a highlight? We've gone long. Jabari is in after his suspension. 1-0. He scores a lot of goals of that. Running onto balls. Long balls over the top. Playing off the shoulders. Settles the nerves. It's as route one as you get, isn't it? Sosa getting the ball off the keeper. Veildor just punted it forward. We're seeing a lot of these goals in FM21. But while they're for us, we will take it. Right, Sene. Come on, I want to see Pikion get, get on the ball. Mendy. Into Jabari. He's in again. That was a lovely pass from Mendy. He should have finished it. It was a poor finish from Jabari. 
Sosa with it. Sakina was there. Sporting, as you can see from the bottom, have just gone one nil up as well. Are we going to get another little go here? Sosa? No, he's been tackled. Right, Casimiro. Philippe Melo. Alfonso Cueta. Or whatever his name. Katana? Cueta? I don't know. Sakina. Into Sosa. Cross. Mendy's there. Blocked. Pickyon's there. Yay! Parks the goalkeeper. By the way, how bad was that celebration from me? Yay! It should be get the fuck in. That's what we should be saying. Sosa, cross. Mendy blocked. It actually hit Jabari. Pickyon's there. Goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. 2 0. Bottom of the league. Happy days. Debut goal for Picky on what you want. He could be a bloody handful up there. See, work rate just needs to be a little bit better. We are playing him as a pressing forward and, he's, and his work rate's 10. Right, Casimiro. Melo. Jabari's now in. On the right-hand side. He's kept it in play. He's got it. He's dinked one to Picky on. Beautiful header. 3 nil. Had two goals on his debut for Picky on. So half time, 3 0. They've not caused us any problems whatsoever. We've had a fantastic first half there. These are the games that we want. Nice and comfortable. We're also going to have a look at Pereira again, the youngster. De Caro, I want to get off the pitch as well. He's played a lot of football. He's struggling just a little bit with his fitness. Picon is on a hat trick. Decent tackle from the defender. They're going to have a chance to build early in this second half. Pedro Grassa. Oh, yeah. Misjudged. Misjudged. Good save, Veldo. <clears throat> Centre half's a shit in FM21. Let me know what you think down below. I, I just find the defensive. The, def, def, the centre halves are generally quite poor and are misjudging a lot of flights. And it's easy for strikers to get in, especially when it just ends up becoming a race. Jabari is in. Jabari has scored 4 0, slipped in, offside bollocks. Yeah, so let me know. Down in the comments, if you're just finding your centre after just struggling with long balls a little bit, either misjudging headers or being caught out of position, yeah, it was clearly off. Yeah, so let me know down in the comments. Right, we're gonna get Pereira on. We're also gonna get Ribeiro on, and we're also gonna take Quet uh, Alfonso Cueto off because he's just struggling a little bit. Let's get the veteran Semedo on. Right, here we go, Diaz. Come on, clean sheet, boys, please. Clean sheet. So set, Diaz. Headed, soon as I say clean sheet, soon as I say clean sheet, ah oh dear, right Casimiro, picky on, he's on a hat trick remember, he's dug out a cross, Casimiro's going to pick up the seconds, he's nodded it down the line for the youngster Pereira, who's crossed, Jabari's there, 4-0, lovely goal, well done Pereira the youngster, the board do want us to promote youth as much as we can and use the club's youth facilities and having players like this who were, to be fair to him, he's had a decent impact. He does need to improve drastically in a certain areas if we really want to progress with him, but he can do the core things. Dribbling's not bad. Pace isn't bad. Crossing's not bad. We may just have a little player on our hands for the next few seasons. Here he is again, mixing it with Casemiro this time. Casemiro's found Semedo. Mello, are we going to get a debut hat trick for Picayon? We've gone down the line. Jabari is in. Pereira, he's got another opportunity. He's dug out a cross, blocked. Semedo coming at them at waves, two and three attacks at a time. Jabari's there. It's a wonderful cross. Just begged to be headed. And Jabari has got his 10th of the season. It is 5 1 setty ball. We're getting maximum points from today's episode, boys. There we go, 5-1. A hat-trick from Jabari in the end. Two from Pickyon. Job well done. So, second position. Lekker haven't played yet. Sporting have. They've won themselves 1-0. Okay, we're just starting to pull away a little bit. There's now, there was only three-point gap between us and the ninth. There's now a, what, a five. So, it's just opening up a little bit. Maybe we just found the right balance now with attack. Immediate impact as well from the deb debutante. Jabari, who found himself out of the team at the start of the season when we were playing 
uh, just one up front in Duck. He's come in. We're going to just give him a handshake. Say well done. And that's it, boys. So next episode, I don't know where we'll come back. All the time now, it's just literally how far I can get on with the save. Next episode, Sunday evening, we may... I will push to minimum get to sporting. That could be a cracker. Um, yeah, we'll 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 come back for the sporting one. So how many games is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do sporting. And then Benfica e Castelo Branco. Whoever they're... They're down at the bottom. Yeah, they're down in 21st, so... But that sporting game, I think it needs to be a game, doesn't it? Because that is potentially going to be massive. Goal difference, all in 16 as well. What are the rules for a league sorting? Results between teams? Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash a like on today's episode for me. Much appreciated. See you later. <laughs>